compute the derivative of 5 to the cos x plus cos x to the 5. So let's begin by prepping this function. This is really 5 to the power of cosine of x plus the quantity of cosine of x raised to the fifth power. Now notice that this expression right here has got variables in the exponent, which means it's really a natural logarithm in disguise. So let's make it explicit. Let's write this as e to the ln of the base times the power. So e to the ln of 5 times the cosine of x. And the other term we'll just copy down here. We've got cosine of x quantity to the fourth power. Or fifth power, sorry. Now notice that inside each one of these expressions we've got a lot of stuff in parentheses. So that derivative is going to involve a lot of the chain rule. So let's do that right now. We're going to have that y prime is equal to the derivative e to the blank is e to the blank times the derivative of blank, and we'll get to the blanks in a second. The derivative of blank to the 5 is 5 times blank to the 4th times the derivative of blank. And now let's fill in the blanks right here. Over here we've got the green ln of 5 times cosine of x, which will fill in these two spots. And over here we've got the pink cosine of x, which will fill in these two spots right here. Now let's focus on this derivative right here. Notice that it's not the product rule because ln of 5 is a constant, so it's just going to come along for the ride, and the derivative of cosine of x is minus sine of x. So now we've got this first term completely differentiated. So let's copy down the, the preamble right here, e to the ln of 5 cosine x. Alrighty, now let's focus on the remaining derivative. That's going to give us a negative sine of x. And then we have the part that came along from the line above, the 5 cosine of x quantity to the fourth. And so this expression right here is our raw derivative. Let's clean it up a little bit. Notice that we can bring the negative out. So this is negative ln of 5 times the sine of x times e to the power of ln of 5 times cosine x. Uh, then the next term, we've got a negative 5 sine of x times the cosine of x quantity raised to the fourth power. Now notice that there's a negative in both of these terms and also a sine x in both of these terms. So we can factor that out. We'll have a negative sine of x. The leftovers, we're going to have an ln of 5 times the natural exponential of ln of 5 times cosine of x. Uh, the next term will be positive. There'll be a 5 and a cosine of x to the fourth power left over. Now this isn't where we could leave it right here. Note that this expression right here can be simplified. It's traditional, in fact, to do so. Rather than write this e to the ln of a base times a power, we're going to stick it back in its sort of based exponential form as 5 to the cosine of x power. And so now we can bring the rest of it in here. We've got negative sine of x times the quantity ln of 5 times 5 cosine to the x plus 5 times the quantity cosine of x to the fourth power. And this is the derivative for this particular function.